Hi there, my name is Bridget Kimsey. I'm a yoga teacher, integrative healthcare provider and practitioner, as well as author and scientist. Um, and thank you for being here for this half hour general flow yoga class, um, adjusting to what you need today, either taking it down or picking it up a notch if you need. Um, feel free to use blocks or straps or what will help you. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns, please do be in touch um, through email and I wish you well. Let's get started. All right, coming on to your mat. All right, so here we are. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and come right onto the front of our mat. I'm going to have my legs about hip distance width apart. We're just going to bring the hands into the heart. I'm going to face you. You can stay at the front of your mat though. Just taking a nice breath in, exhaling the air out, inhaling, exhale, inhale, and exhale, feeling where you are in space, here you are on your mat, breathing, dropping into yourself in your practice, already in union, just experiencing this yogic experience, body, mind, emotions, energy, spirit, all here. You're gonna go ahead and stay here at the front of your mat. I'm just showing you from this, vert, this side. Inhale, open the arms. We're gonna exhale, diving out, bend the knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Feel free to straighten the legs at any time. Inhale up, you can always practice with the legs together. Exhale, diving forward. You can also bend the knees or straighten, going back and forth a little bit, finding what works for you. Coming on down. Inhale up, bringing that all the way into the heart. Good, and here we are getting ready for a variation on Surya Namaskar. Inhale, drawing the arms out to the side. Exhale, diving forward. Hands on shins or toes, preparing the spine, look up. Exhale, we are taking that right leg all the way back. Pausing here, lengthening out through the crown of the head. We're going to go ahead and take that front leg all the way to meet the back. Incline plank, pause here, length, and then move right back into downward dog. We are bringing that right leg forward. Pausing here, bringing the back leg forward. Inhale, swan dive up. Exhaling back into the heart. Take a pause here, just marching in place a little bit. Good, shaking out the arms low, shaking out the arms high, low again, high again, and then bringing the hands back into the heart and keep going with Surya Namaskar. Inhale, open. Exhale, diving forward. Hands on shins or toes, looking up. Exhale, right leg goes back. Pausing here, planting that right hand on the ground or on a block, either way is fine. Taking the left hand on the hip, going up. Finding your breathing. Good, coming all the way down. Let's go ahead and take that front leg to meet the back. Incline plank. Pausing here, going right on back into downward dog. We're going to come forward again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Go ahead and bringing that right leg forward. Pausing here, bringing that block to the other side. Go ahead. Opening. If you didn't need a block, don't. Feel free, you have to use it on this side. Good, 
good. Taking that arm down, removing the block, breathing it, bringing it in. Swan drive up. Exhale back into the heart, pausing here. Inhale again, inhale opening. Exhale, diving forward. Hands on shins, looking up. Exhaling, right leg goes back. This time pausing here, bringing the hands onto the thigh, making sure you are feeling secure here. If you are okay, bringing the arms out long, drawing the belly in. Making sure the knee is right over the ankle. Exhale all the way down. This time drop the back knee, maybe just pause here. And then go ahead, bringing that front leg to meet the back. Inhale, dropping the knees. Exhale down. Inhale, small cobra. And rolling right on back into downward dog. Good, bringing that right leg forward. Pausing here, getting a little bit of length in the spine, crown of the head, back down into the heel, bringing the hands onto the thighs, weight bearing for both legs, making sure you feel comfortable. If you are good here, bringing the arms straight out. Full breath in, full breath out. Dropping those arms, dropping that back knee, maybe take a pause. And then bringing that back leg in. Swan dive up. Back into the heart. Once again, going around to the right. Inhale, opening. Exhale, diving forward. Hands on shins or toes, looking up. Right leg is going back. Bending both knees, bringing the hands right onto the hips. Pausing here, maybe making sure your back feels secure, letting it relax down and then coming back up. Inhale down, exhale. Inhale, oak tree. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, and exhale, coming forward. So feel free to pause here, have support. You could also bring your hands to the side or out. Drawing lower belly up and in. Feel free to have blocks or coming right on down, bringing that back leg, looking up. Little deeper, taking that front leg to meet the back. Incline plank. We're gonna keep coming down. You can bend the knees or just come straight on down. Reaching open, exhaling all the way back. Downward dog. that right leg forward. Left leg is behind you, nice long line. Coming up into oak tree, again, you are welcome to just stay right here, bringing the hands on the small of the back, letting the ribs settle, lower body settle, coming down, and lengthen up into pyramid. Open, exhale, open, exhale, Open and exhale, coming forward, feeling that your legs are sinking in, spreading the mat apart. Feel free to have the arms open. We're going to keep coming all the way down. And taking that back leg to meet the front. Swan dive up. All the way back in. Pausing here. Let's walk the legs together. Hands along that lower sacrum area, that lower back area, and just sitting down. Bring your hands, the forearms, onto the thighs. Pause here. Get the weight into the glutes, the buttocks area. And then as you're ready, just reaching those arms out. Good. We're going to inhale here. Exhale, belly in chest open, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, taking this right arm across, 
Feel free to bring one hand on top of the other. You are welcome to bring this into twisted chair with a lunge. You can go ahead and take that right leg back. Support yourself as needed, peeling that foot up of the right, going all the way back. Good, just pausing here. Good, bringing the arms down. I'm gonna drop that back knee and then come right on back, downward dog. Pedaling out the knees, see how it's feeling in there. Good, we're gonna walk the legs back. Wrists are underneath shoulders. Feel free to drop the knees, coming on down. Cobra. Exhaling, now this can always be child's pose. If you're finding you need a little break. Walking or stepping, jumping the feet up. We're gonna swan dive up. Exhale, bringing the hands right back into the heart. Here we go with the other side, coming right on in. So if you wanna take that, you don't have to. I like this personal preference of getting, making sure I'm in to the glutes. And then as you're ready, bring the hands to your shoulders, working around. Good, reaching up. <sighs> Breathing here. If you wanna take that inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, taking this left elbow across. Feel free to take the lunge or skip. You are peeling off that left leg, reaching back. Have your focus, your drishti focus on something. Really putting power in that back leg. Good, we're gonna come on down. You are dropping that back in the knee. Looking up. Coming right back into downward dog. Coming into incline plank. Feeling engagement in the legs, in the body. Coming down. Inhale, cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Feel free to step or float the legs back up. Swan dive up. Back into the heart. Pausing here. Taking this right leg back into your Vajrasana One, Warrior One. Toes are back, toes are open. You are bending through that front knee, thinking of that knee on top of that ankle bone. Open C's on the top of the thigh, helping to move that bone forward. Again, if you'd like, Hands small of the back, ribs resting, bringing the arms all the way around, diving the forearms back and up. Breathe. Good, from here we are pitching forward. Turning the, um, the toes down, moving into Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Stay here if this is comfortable. If you are not comfortable, maybe bringing, starting here, toes in the ground. Coming forward only as you feel ready. Good, keep going, if you would like, for standing split. You might even, if balance is okay, holding on to the ankle. Ah. <laughs> Good, and then from here, just bringing that leg gently back. Maybe drop the knees, looking up. Coming right on into downward dog. Pedaling the legs. Moving into incline plank. You could make this cobra or upward dog. If you were going from upward dog, you might go through chaturanga, pulling your way through. Hands are around where the ribs, lower ribs, the waist. Moving right on back. Downward dog. 
stepping or floating the legs up. Swan dive up. Back into the heart, getting ready for the other side. So you're taking that left leg back, bending through that front knee. Open C's on that front thigh, that femur bone is lengthening. You might even have the hands around, softening, still engaging the leg, but just softening, sacrum, ribs falling in, arms come up. Excess heat might blow out the mouth. From here, moving into Virabhadrasana 3. So you're coming forward, and again, if you want to pause here, this is great. If you want to keep going, you can have arms in front or behind you. Again, keep moving, maybe standing split. So if you were with working with standing split, I sometimes even bend the knees a little bit and then lengthen through. You could try balancing, holding on to the ankle, calf, and then reaching that leg all the way back. Pause. Coming into downward dog. Pause. Moving right on into incline plank. Good. Now feel free to drop the knees. If you want to make this upward dog, you're coming down. Rolling on through. Moving back, downward dog. Careful not to hang out in the joints, make micro bends in the joints if you need to, to keep integrity. Walking the legs up or floating. Swan dive up. Back of the heart. Pausing here. Breathing and exhale. We're going to go ahead and take that right leg back for warrior two. I'm going to open up so I can see you from the front. So from here, you're going to go ahead, open up with that right leg. Those back toes are a little bit in if that works for your body. We're going to bring the arms down. We're going to roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and let it go. Good. Going back. And coming forward. Forearm onto the thigh. That other arm goes over. It's really swooping along here. Again, you could have the hand resting on the thigh behind you or in front. On a block. Moving out of your address in a two, coming to standing. Inhale, exhale. We're going to turn the toes in the direction of the front of your mat. And we are bringing our body a little bit closer in. You are taking that back foot and kicking it into half moon. Maybe bring the hand on the hip, other arm up. And then bringing it down, moving all the way back into the airport, dressing it too. Good, and then from here, you're gonna go ahead, lengthen that leg turning your body to face the front of your mat, bringing that leg in. I'm going to march in place. I'll meet you back at the first side here. So <laughs> I was trying to do it so I could see. Hopefully that wasn't confusing. We're going to go ahead, bring the hands into the heart. We're opening now with the left leg. Virabhadrasana 2, bending the knee. And again, those back toes, turning them in a little bit. The hips 
are going towards the corner edge of the left side front of your mat. Good, going backwards and forwards. Bringing the forearm onto the thigh. I said swooping, but <laughs> bringing your arm along. Now again, you could take this arm, this right hand, bring it right on down into a block behind you or behind you. Good, coming right on back. You're gonna straighten those legs, pause here, lengthening through the spine, out through the bones. And then go ahead and gently walking that leg in, coming into a more neutral pelvis, and then coming forward. So as you get ready, so you can keep half moon, whatever works for you. Keep the hands on the ground, hands on a block. Take that left hand on the hip, bringing the arm up. You can notice I keep my gaze down. You can have your gaze where it's good and helpful for you. We're gonna go ahead and take that leg all the way back, planting it there, feeling secure hopefully. Good, lengthening the legs, turning yourself into a more neutral pelvis, ah. <laughs> and then bringing that back leg in. Good, arching in place a little bit. And let's just take the vinyasa to bring it all together. Inhale, exhale, dive. Hands on shins or toes looking up. We're just gonna step right on back into incline plank. Coming down, cobra, or upward dog. Moving into downward dog. And walking the legs in, we're floating. Swan dive up. Exhaling, pausing here. Good, I'm gonna face you. You can face me too or stay at the front of your mat. We're just gonna come right into tree. So if you're facing me, you'll be taking that left leg up. Breathing. Good, here we are in tree. You might, the branches extending, bring the thumbs together. down right into the heart turning the toes forward letting the hips even and then lengthening out that leg good coming back if you feel like your pelvis needs a little bit of resetting you can march a little bit or stay right where you are let's go to the other side taking that right foot up the inner thigh or other foot Hands at the heart. Good, opening the arms. Bringing the thumbs together. Bringing that all the way in. You might also practice Look as if you were pressing into a wall behind you, a foot into a wall in front of you. Coming on down, lifting all the way back up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, we're gonna go into, I call it Kali, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's what I've been working with for a number of years. But go ahead and take um, your right hand Cross that left foot. Also variation on hand to foot pose. Good, coming all the way in and folding. Swan dive up. Back into the heart. Going to the other side, Kali on the other side, taking this right leg up. Hand foot. 
I'm keeping my knees bent, you don't have to. Bringing that in, all the way down, swan dive up. Exhale, we'll take a vinyasa, you can stick it, stay in Tadasana or do what works for you. Inhale, open. Exhale, dive. Hands on shins or toes looking up. We are stepping back. Long incline plank coming down. Cobra or upward dog. Exhaling all the way back into downward dog. Walking or floating the legs back up. Inhale up. Back into the heart. Good, coming into goddess pose. So you are opening the toes, the feet wide. I'd say about like 30 degrees. One hand on the belly, one hand, top of the hand, lower back. Tilt the pelvis forward and back a little bit. And then keep coming down. Let that be still and heavy. Coming back up. Inhale down, energy in the thighs. That flexor is a little soft. Coming back up. Coming down, we're gonna open the arms out to the side. Squeeze shoulders in, let it go. Looking over your left, pulsing. Inhale back, exhale over your right, exhale. Inhale, bringing your hands into the heart. Opening into goddess. Take a peek, elbow underneath wrist, elbow underneath wrist. Good, just pausing here. Again, think of your legs sinking into the mat, spreading it apart. Palms up, looking up. Good, bringing that all the way in. Turning the toes forward, back and forth into the feet. Coming forward halfway. Long, wide, downward dog, almost. You're gonna bend through the left knee. Maybe bend through the right, if you're good. Coming back to center. Open the legs a little wider. Coming into fan. And always have your hands on a block, left hand where your face, right hand on the hip. Only twist as much as you're comfortable. You're rotating that arm bone so that shoulder blade follows along. Coming back, going to the other side, right hand down, left hand on the hip. Opening the shoulder but really starting with the arm and the shoulder just follows along. Good, and coming all the way back. We're gonna go ahead and walk the feet in. Coming into Malasana or squat. So you can, again, sit on a block if you'd like. I sometimes start with my arms out wide and long and then maybe coming in good and then coming all the way down walking the feet out in front of you a wide tailor position massaging the toes and the feet Massaging the ankles and the calves. Coming forward. I have my thumbs, balls of the feet, I'm opening up. Good, and lengthening the legs long. 
sitting up into Dandasana, staff pose. So just getting nice and lifted and tall, reaching up, and maybe coming forward. Feel free to bend the knees. Good, and rolling all the way back up, seated up tall. Good, bringing the hands behind you, walking the feet in. Planting the hands, massaging into the shoulder blades. Coming all the way up into reverse table. So, you know, difference, what works for you. You can drop the head back, you don't have to. Of course, I tend to look for what feels good during the day. And then coming all the way back down. Good. Coming onto your forearms, lifting the chest. Good, walking the legs in. Reaching up. And then just coming all the way back down onto the back. Good, from here, massaging the legs around. Squeeze the legs in, that's your exhale. Inhale, legs float away. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, float away. Exhale, squeeze. Good, planting the feet. Legs are um, mat width apart. Let the knees flop in, giving yourself a big hug. Good. and just letting the arms open, letting the legs come down. You could have support under the knees for Guru Shavasana. If you feel like your head or scalp needs it, maybe massaging the scalp. I sometimes will also interlace my fingers back of the head, elbows high, looking to the right, looking to the left, and then bring that all the way down. Hands on the heart, down the ribs, over the belly. And opening the arms. Next, exhale, feel the toes and feet and legs fully sink deeply on and into the earth. Feeling the hips, the whole back body and front body sink into the earth. Shoulders down the arms and hands sinking into the earth. Neck, face, and head sinking down.
feel free to stay here as long as you'd like if you're ready. Inhaling more deeply, wiggling the toes, rubbing the thumb across the fingertips, rolling on to one side, working your way up to a seated position. Bringing the hands into the heart or the lap. I'll end with the sound of Om. Feel free to join in or just listen. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti Om. May we have peace, peace, and peace. And as you feel ready, slowly opening the eyes, finding a point to focus on and bringing in the room. And Namaste. Thank you for coming. So thank you for coming to this half hour general flow class. If you have any questions, please let me know. My name is Bridget Kimsey. And um, again, I hope you have a great day and be well.